Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. All right, so today's video, this is episode 51 of our 365 day daily devotionals. Um, this is a devotional that I had started a couple months ago. Um, we took a little break and now we're back at it. But this is something I just wanted to do for myself. And then obviously through life events, I know that this is something that God had laid in my heart to do to prepare me for what has happened. It's just unbelievable how God works and how he uses things to reach out and grab us, you know. But this devotional is just so special to me, and it was something I wanted to share with my community, and it has just become such a blessing in my life. It truly, truly is a blessing. And something else I wanted to mention, those of you that are leaving comments after the videos, thank you so much. I haven't really, really been replying to anybody, and for that, I do apologize, but just to be able to read your comments and just the encouragement and support that I feel from my community is unbelievable. But then also the fact that there are so many people out there that are struggling with the same exact thing that I am and they know how I feel. And it seems like everything that I'm going through is pretty much normal, I guess. Um, whatever my new normal is, you know what I mean? But those comments help me, and I just want you to know how much I appreciate that. I, I truly do. All right, let's jump into this devotional. Okay, number 51. Let me give you all the verses first. I like to always give you guys the verses. That way, if you want to go back and, oh, sorry, check them out, you know, throughout your day, or um, I'm trying to do it without really saying my nails because they, they look awful. I had them done, and then um, I painted my mother-in-law's, all the doors in her house. And so, yeah. Anyways, but the doors look awesome. Okay. <clears throat> Learn to live from your true center in me. I reside in the deepest depths of your being. In eternal union with your spirit, it is at this deep level that my peace reigns continually. You will not find lasting peace in the world around you, in circumstances, or in human relationships. The external world is always in flux, under the curse of death and decay. But there is a gold mine of peace deep within you waiting to be tapped. Take time to delve into the riches of my residing presence. I want you to live increasingly from your real center. Where my love has an eternal grip on you. I am Christ in you. The hope of glory. It's very good. Very, very good. Hmm. Okay, let's do the verses. <clears throat> May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 <clears throat> Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Colossians 3.15 <clears throat> To them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Colossians 1, 27. Hmm. 
Mm. Learn to live from your true center in me. so hard to forget about all the things we have going on or all the things we need to do and the days are so busy nowadays and there's just so much going on and then you add your problems on top of that or you know things that have happened on top of that it's so hard to remember that Christ is in you you don't need to search outward for peace or for contentment or um, you don't need to search outward. It's telling you right there that the world has nothing to offer you like God does. If God is in you, if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will believe that he died on the cross for your sins and you have asked him to be in your heart, then God is in you. You need not look no further than that. It's within you already. And obviously sometimes finding that peace is easier said than done. You know, this one verse said, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body, we were called to peace and be thankful. It's very hard for me to be thankful right now. You know, I've had people say, be thankful for the time that you were able to spend with Jace. Be thankful for those 20 years. Well, of course I am. But it's like, I'm not to that point yet where I'm more thankful for the 20 years than I am hurt for the fact that he's gone. I'm sorry, y'all. I know you're hearing the dogs. I just, we just got to deal with it today. So I'm having trouble with that part, the gratitude. I am definitely struggling in that area. But at the same time, I do feel God's peace. And I know that that is from so many people praying for me. It's just the gratitude part. I'm hung up on that. I'm, I'm definitely having trouble with that part. Um, but yeah. No TV show... No perfect companion. No big house. Lots of money in the bank. None of that will fix your problem. Whatever that may be. It will not fix your problem. But God will. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help my channel. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus, hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for being with me today. And y'all have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.